Thank you guys for watching. I'm Hans and this is my channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a GoPro rig that I'm trying to figure out. I have been trying to figure this out and I finally ordered a part off of Amazon that came from China. So we're gonna open that up and see how it does. Right now, there's not really a place to put your microphone and even if you did, it's probably gonna end up in the lens unless you're on your super zoom. I had to kind of rig up a little piece here so that I could mount microphone right here on the bottom like this. And it worked okay, but it's just a lot of tape and other stuff that probably doesn't need to be there. So we're gonna go through, set this thing up using this little guy. And I got this off of Amazon, the U UU rig. The U rig. So it comes with some little wrenches, got a little mount. Pretty excited about this because I was actually thinking about 3D printing something that would work like this and I found exactly what I was going to 3D print, but it's made out of aluminum. And the thing I didn't have in my design was you can actually put a 50, what size is that? I can't remember. 54 millimeter. So I'll, I'll put it in the description. You can put a UV filter or an ND filter or whatever you want to on the front of this thing to protect the lens on the GoPro or give yourself a couple steps down in your stop so that you're actually getting a little faster frame. The big problem with the GoPro is that you have this little arm right here, right? So this arm will fall off and you'll get lost, whatever. So they created a little arm holder, same kind of style, but as a hole there. So I can get my microphone plug right through that and it will go right onto the side here and hold the GoPro in. So let's get this thing going. First thing we want to do is take the GoPro off of this. We're going to go ahead and remove this mount that we have here. Fold these guys up. We're going to remove the door like that, just kind of lift it up and pull on it straight up. Now the door is open, we have our battery in there, SD card. You'll see that when we put this on, that this will line up just right so that we're able to plug our microphone cord right in here. So let's see how this works. So this little back plate right here, just slides up like that. And then you put your GoPro in, just slide it in just like this. Ooh, it's a really snug fit. I think we've got a case of user error here. Oh, I think I just don't have the GoPro pushed in. It wasn't pushed in all the way on this side. So now this thing should just slide right on in. Slides down just like that, pops in. And there you go. First of all, the first GoPro I had, I ran over with a motorcycle and I destroyed the back screen. If I had it in this, I probably wouldn't have destroyed it at all. It probably would have been just fine. This thing is really rugged. It's all aluminum. Um, this door here, let's see how this thing works. Just kind of goes in like this. There's a little pad there to kind of hold the battery in, which is nice. Goes in like this and then it just slides up in these two little rails right there. So when it's seated correctly, you're lined up here so that you can get your microphone jack, right? in here. So I'm going to put it in going out backwards this way. And this is the part that I really thought was cool. And this is the thing I wanted to do was design it so that you could actually stick this thing someplace. So it's not just flopping around. That was the biggest issue I had is that this, there's no place to put your microphone input. And on the other side of it too, they have a riser here that can be removed. You could actually put whatever you wanted to up here but you can remove this or if you put your microphone on here, it lifts it up high enough and it keeps it back far enough that it's not blocking the lens. Let's go ahead and put this on, tighten it up and we'll plug this in. And the other really nice thing is that this frees up this port now here so I can actually be charging my camera and everything as I'm using it. So if you're vlogging or whatever, you could hook an external battery up down in your handle. Um, I know that we've got a handle that we're working on that will actually have a battery built into it and that will plug right into here, which would be really cool. You've got a quarter 20 on the bottom here, so that'll mount to almost any kind of tripod. 
So I'm gonna take my little handlebar grip mount thing that I had on there off and we'll actually do this and clean it up a lot. So I've got my little swivel ball head on the top here and I'll tighten that up and then we could just go ahead and screw this right onto the bottom here. This is a pretty cool vlogging setup right here. So I can collapse my tripod down, keep it hooked up so I really never have to remove my tripod. And um, if I want to set it down, just go like that and it's good to go. The nice thing about this particular handle that I got here is that it is collapsible so you can extend it out. You just twist it, oh, I can get it, twist, there it goes. And then you can tighten it so I can actually get quite a big range if I wanted to do a selfie. So if you wanted to angle the camera back at you, you've got your swivel head on there so you can actually just move that however you want to. Um, obviously you don't want to get the stick in the shot. And then just tighten these things down by twisting it. And then there you go. You got your selfie. And it's easy enough just to collapse your tripod out of the way. And you can hold your tripod and even get, your, get yourself a little more extension if you're trying to show something really big behind you or whatever. This thing is really cool. I'm going to leave a description down below where to get it. Um, it does come from China. So if you want one, you're going to have to be patient. And also with this virus going around, everything is getting shipped really slow because they're putting all the medical stuff as they should on a priority. For now, we just have to kind of deal with this and be patient with it. Um, I'll do some follow-ups on this after I use it a little bit, but right now I just got to say this is exactly what I wanted and a little bit more. There's also on this side, there's one more cold shoe right there. So you could actually put a monitor out here if you wanted to, or rig it up so that there's a monitor somewhere else. Um, I think that this door is genius so that you can actually keep your battery stowed in there, not worry about it falling out and be able to plug in. And then again, having a spot here to put this piece is just super important. There's not been a really good way to do it without using tape or anything else that I've seen so far or blocking the screen or trying, you know, blocking one of the ports. This is really, really brilliant. I think they did a great job. It's really well constructed and it was worth every penny that I paid for it. So you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. And if you have one and you like it, let me know about that too. Subscribe to my channel if this was helpful at all, and you'll see me in the next video.